friends and welcome back. I'm Melody from Bake Leg and Let's Dig It. Doing, getting prepared and prepping with bake. This is my ShopRite order. Uh, you're seeing, you probably saw my dollar store, uh, Dollar Tree order first. This is the second one. This was not a big uh, haul, but I thought I would do a video on it and tell you what I think. And you can also tell me what you think. Um, like I said, did not get a lot and I will give you the price. So I normally buy my sugar in a 25 pound bag and they literally had none on the shelves. Um, so this is 15, no, let me see how big this is. Mm, 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 Non-GMO. This is a 10 pound bag. So there's 20 pounds right there. You know, you got to do what you got to do, but I like the 25 pound bag because I have a big container glass jar. I will show you that in another video of how I store my flour and my sugar, my everyday things that I bake with. Um, I have the receipt here, but let's go to this first. Why do I have a bag sitting on the table? Okay, well, this particular shop, right, did away with bags and they are charging $1.10 for a bag. So we literally were in there like, what? You don't have any bags. So yeah, crazy. Now they're charging for bags. So imagine if you do a three, four hundred dollar food shopping and you need to keep purchasing all these bags. It's just craziness. Okay, we're out of, no, I actually took a box of my angel hair from out of my uh, non-working pantry that I like to call my stash and I put it in my container. I will show you that in another video. So they really didn't have any uh angel hair so i had to go for their brand which is bowl in the basket and i got two boxes i will tell you the prices of things when i'm done here i am doing the two ingredient biscuits i've been searching like you would not believe internet stores restaurant stores looking for self-rising flour let me hold that up so you can see it's by pearl milling company that was a little expensive um, but yeah, I needed a flour for a recipe that someone wants me to do on the two ingredient biscuits. So I did get that. And then we got two of the original uh, chock full of nuts, uh, medium coffee, one and two. There's the pasta. Told you about the self-rising flour. Oy, oy, oy. I like Italian sweet cream. But I really like this Cold Stone Creamery. There's an ice cream parlor up here. And that's what this is based off of. It's by International Delight. It's very hard to find the bigger one. So I bit the bullet. And I bought that for my coffees during the week. I was looking for protein bars. Because if you've seen me in my garden. Sorry that I look like death. But I took a shower. And it was just horrible. We had storms. And ugh. So they didn't have any protein bars. So I went with this, the Nutri-Grain. Uh, there's 16 bars in this box. I got that for me. And I also got this for myself because I love devil dogs. I'm trying to gain weight. And when I need a snack at night, I want something that's a little fattening. So devil dogs it is. And this is by uh, Drake's here in Pennsylvania, a creamed filled devil's food cake. Could I make it? Yeah, do I have the time? No. I picked up a 10 pound box of milk bones, the medium size. I have two Yorkshire Terriers, one toy and one silky. And I have to say this, I'm glad that I did go there because there's only one box left on the shelf for the milk bones and I don't want my babies to go without. So make sure you have all your supplies, food, bones that you need for your animals and stock up. Um, in order to try to save money, I will make like a Starbucks knockoff or a DIY Starbucks. I don't know. I've, I've been doing it for years before Starbucks was even popular, but I like to make my caramel frappuccinos. So I picked up a Hershey's syrup in the indulgent caramel flavor from there. And I make uh, milkshakes with protein in it. So I got the big Hershey syrup. This is focus camera. Let me see how big this is. This is a 48 ounce, it's three pounds. So that's a much bigger bottle. And this is one pound on the caramel. Okay, so I told you about the sugar. Let me move this over. 
Um, if you go back and watch the videos, I'm trying not to spill the sugar. Um, we just got a used wood burning stove. So, and in case of an emergencies, um, you know. So I picked up fireplace and grill matches, the strike box, 40 count. We got this at ShopRite and we both wanted a box. We, being me and my roommate Jimmy, wanted a box of the strike on box matches, the green light. Um, like I said, I have a bug out bag and I needed a box to go in there. So we got two. Uh, these were on sale and I need something quick to eat sometimes or I'll just forget to eat. So I picked up these instant oatmeal, maple, and brown sugar. I think I got quite a few of this because maple and brown sugar is my favorite. So that's two. And yes, I got three. Sometimes I don't like to try different things. But I'm going to try this apples and cranberry because I do like apples and cranberries. So I grabbed that one as well. And an apples and cinnamon for something quick to eat. I lost a lot of weight. So this was a herder. I picked up a 16 pack of Insure Original in vanilla. It's the only one that I can drink. It's 220 calories, nine grams of protein, 27 vitamins and minerals. Um, I did get that. I wanted to get two, but I just wasn't sure because there wasn't very many on the shelf. So I got one and left a few for some other people in case they need it. This was expensive, my friends. It's going up and up in price. This instant non-fat dry milk. Uh, this makes 20 quarts, so I got an extra one, 64 ounces. This is four pounds. I'll give you the price of that. And can we talk about this? I like Lipton iced teas. I do make my own homemade uh, sweet tea, but not like Southern sweet tea where it's too sugary. I have not been able to get these at any stores and even before the shortages. Don't know why gentleman was going down the aisle and I happened to see that he had two and I said sir can I have them and he said yes so I finally got my favorite I like to drink them on occasion the lemon iced tea 12 packs I got two of them and that is legitimately my little haul as I stated it's my little haul from uh, ShopRite I don't think I forgot anything got the sugar okay so let me tell you about the price of this. Let's see. So let's do this real quick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four items, I think, if I count at the milk bones. So let's go here. Okay. The total right there was 102.74. Um I just thought that that was really expensive and then we had to pay for bags like just nuts they're not giving out bags at that particular shop right anymore so I guess you have to spend a fortune in bags I mean like I said what if you do a three four hundred dollar food shopping order you're gonna need a gazillion bags so save your used bags whatever it may be in order to shop at ShopRite but that particular shop right from what I understand is the only shop right that's on board with that right now having no bags um, and these were a dollar five or a dollar ten um, that's on a separate receipt so let's see the Lipton iced tea they were five ninety nine a piece um, let's see it says recovery 304 okay I got 99 cent off on my iced tea because that happened to be on sale uh, let me see let me see so yeah I got one two dollars off off of my IC of $5.99 okay the milk bones for my dogs the 10 pound box was $12.99 the domino sugar $6.99 a piece my friends $6.99 um, the self-rising flour for that little bag was $4.29 uh, there's another domino sugar for $6.99 the angel hair was on sale 84 cent but honestly can't be particular with brands. I just got it because I love angel hair. And that's all that they had. The Hershey syrup was $5, the big bottle. And the caramel was $2.99. The uh, coffee total for two was $4.39, but we saved $2.40. Um, let's see. Sweet, uh, the sweet cream, uh, that was a little expensive too. $6.49, almost $7 for that. 
which would be this, almost $7 for that. So that has drastically went up in price as well. Um, the Quaker Oat uh, Apple Cinnamon, you know, those little cups were $1.25 each. Um, I saved $0.24 cent on each of them. The Kellogg's Breakfast Bars, the strawberries were $5.49. The Ensure was $20.99. My Devil Dogs were $3.49. I'm a valued customer. Tax was $104. The balance was $102.74. And yeah, there it is again. It's saying my total savings today was six eighty-eight. dollars um, And let's say it doesn't break down how many items. I think I counted them all in there. And then we paid for the bag separately. So that was an extra uh, $1.10, $1.10. So $2.20 for the two bags. So that is my ShopRite haul. Like I said, I thought that this was very expensive. And you can always find the 25-pound bag of sugar. I've been doing it for years, can't find it, so I'm like five pounds short, it's whatever. You'll understand why I need 25 pounds of sugar, because I do a lot of baking, and I have a humongous jar that literally holds 25 pounds of sugar. But you know what, I think I have a bag of sugar down in my pantry, so that may be okay. And just some emergency things for here, for the wood stove, bug out bag, and ensure I absolutely need it because I'm losing more weight. And like I said, this was a herder. This right here, this dry milk is 20 quarts. Let me just relook very quickly because I know I said it, but I'd like to see it again. I forget how much that was. Oh, my tripod's getting caught. Very sorry, everyone. Uh, let me see. My insurance is $20.99. I'm looking for it. Milk bones, $12.99. Maybe it wasn't as expensive as I thought it was. Um sweet cream nope can't seem to find it right off hand mm -mm 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 -mm. oh yeah there it is it $17.99 for that insane insane but we need it so it's that has definitely went up in price drastically here so thank you to all the new subscribers this is not a big shop right haul by no means uh, that will be coming up probably sometime next weekend I will most likely be doing a big uh, food shopping. Uh, my roommate said something funny today. Like, don't stockpile too much. And I'm like, what do you think I did since I moved in here? I stocked on a lot of things. So do I have a few things for, you know, uh, my pantry? Yeah. But, you know, not really to stockpile. Um, nothing here is really to stock. Um, the coffee is. And I just used my last box. So I have an extra box to go down into the non-working pantry. So, yep. Yeah. And this is also for the non-working pantry. So this is a stock item. But what does he care? He's not paying for it. I am. And that is my haul, my friends, from ShopRite. Um, I showed you the... I did the video on the Dollar Tree. Uh, that was the same day that I did my haul. You see my Halloween table? So cute. Um, I did ShopRite right after the Dollar Tree. So there you go. That was $102.74, but I am trying to stock up on that instant non-fat dry milk, sugar, flour, things of that nature that I am stocking up on. And sures are for my health. And yeah, I like my iced tea. And my doggies got to be taken care of and they needed their treats too. But I love you all. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Tell me what you think about this little haul. Do you think that this was expensive? Because I do. I mean, I've, I've been watching the prices and they are definitely skyrocketing and, um, yeah, just get, I would say some of the necessities that you need. I've been doing that, um, prior to actually starting this series, but this is just some things so that I'll actually have an appetite and eat something, you know, and a little sweet treat on the devil dog. So that is my haul from ShopRite. The price again was $102.74. What do you think? Do you think that was a lot? And leave your comments down below. Like, subscribe, share. These are all amazing. Again, I will say this. Thank you for all the new subscribers. So looking forward to getting to know each and every one of you personally. And a great big thank you. You have no idea what that means to me. But I guess I will see you on the next video. I have more things to come. And um, God bless, stay healthy, stay safe, and remember, 
to keep preparing, keep stocking, do what you got to do. But I love you. <laughs> I will see you on the next one. God bless.